Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is not really an unboxing of this phone. It's more of an introduction of what's going to be coming in the future to this channel. And one of the things of course is that I needed to buy a new phone. I've had the iPhone 6 Plus for a few years and I said before in videos it's been having issues. It's not keeping a charge so I need to upgrade the phone. Now however this camera that I'm filming with right now has been taking a beating and apparently the new iPhones or new Androids have all have awesome video capabilities. So we're going to have a look at that. Plus, we're going to have a look at what's to come in the future of this channel. What projects I got going on. Some thoughts. A lot of people have been talking. You know, Jeep videos. There's going to be a ton of Jeep videos coming up right away. So just be patient. So let's have a look at this. So here's the new iPhone XR. Be available for shipping first two weeks in November. The thing that I didn't understand is that I had to go down, well, I should say I had to go down, I had to order this online, have it for pickup in the store, then drive down to the Apple store to get it. I couldn't just go to the Apple store and say I want this phone. I had to go through this whole process and reserve it. So what makes this phone so special compared to the other ones? Let's crack it open. It's like Christmas, but Canada with the Apple warranty, this was 13 hundred dollars with apple care warranty two years let's have a look man that looks sharp of course you get your little book pamphlet there and you get some apple stickers this is the phone right here apple xr that looks pretty fancy and of course headphones charger all that other kind of boring stuff so I just powered it up on its own right now, but we're not going to worry about that. We have the SIM card pin right there. Compare the 6 Plus and the XR. Pretty similar in size. No more home button. Let's get all my data transferred over. That's going to be like six hours or so. Then we'll get down to the real stuff. All right, so here we are filming with the iPhone XR. Now I'm actually using a gimbal. That was given to me, I don't know, probably like a couple years ago. So anyways, this is what's currently going on. And I also want to test, see if you guys are going to like the iPhone footage. Not necessarily going to be using the gimbal all the time, but this is the stage I'm at right now. I really got to determine, and I'm probably going to live stream this week about it, is do we fix the six cylinder or do we do an ls swap because we're almost halfway there the way i see it okay most likely gonna have to replace the head so that's gonna be 700 bucks and then i still don't know cylinder number five's got the low compression you know do i pull the pistons out you know put new pistons and rings in if i'm going that far i might as well pull the engine and then you know, start looking at remand engines. And I'm going to be looking at over $3,000. And to do an LS swap, I can get an engine transmission and wiring harness for less than that. I think an LS swap definitely will not only be fun for the viewers to watch. It'll also be a lot more fun driving. So now we're going to record without the gimbal so you guys could see. Now, people ask, why don't you put the 4BT into the TJ? And I could, but I'm not. The reason being, I'd rather have the V8 and the TJ. It'll increase its value, make it fun to drive. The 4BT Cummins, gotta go into a JK. The reason why is because I want to build an overland rig. And having an overland rig means being able to have the fuel economy to reach the far places without having to worry about fuel. Now with a JK, I could be getting anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per gallon, depending on how you have it set up. And having a diesel would be way better, less maintenance, less things to go wrong. You know, do a V8 swap, you got computers, sensors, all this bullshit. The 4BT Cummins, one wire power for the fuel solenoid shut off. That being said, probably got a live stream this weekend. Just want to keep this video short. Let you guys know what's coming up because you guys have been talking about Jeep videos. You guys want to see Jeep videos. Well, 
we got a mess going on right now and trying to debate where the future is going to turn ls swap or fix this boat anchor that being said i'm gonna get going if you guys have any questions or comments post them below and i want to thank you guys for watching this is filmed with the sony camera the end part i kind of almost like it better because it's not so in your face like the iphone is when you're trying to film towards you i don't know i'll let you guys decide in the comments what you guys think keep the sony or film with the iphone let me know so i don't annoy you in the future i am kind of curious to know how this video is going to look when it's played back all i know is you see how cluttered my garage is that's for sure and this big pile of mess going on right here